this is Saris Knight. And Lantis. And Ixion, Ixion. Lantis. Sarah's Knight, since that was what you did the first time. I wasn't uh, yeah. quite following the gag. So, if the same screen... Screen? If the same screen looked a little different, that's because uh, we had a memory card kind of die on us. So, we had to jump online and get a game save. But it, the only one that had what we needed also had, like, hunk and tofu and everything yeah. else unlocked. So we might do a game of hunk and tofu as bonus footage or something. Right, right. We were, we were playing around with that idea. Is that like how at the beginning of the second scenario, they don't tell you what's been going on setting up for the story. They tell you, that was only half of it. See this. Now we're going to see what's with Leon. Who becomes the poster boy of the franchise after Resident Evil 4. I liked him in four, but six, that he did seem like just... He was stagnant. He had zero character development. Ever since he rescued the president's daughter, he did nothing but be that. He actually might have regressed. I think I like Resident Evil 2 Leon better than Resident Evil 6 Leon. Just saying. Huh. Yeah. But I like RE4 the best. Because he's so snarky. <clears throat> Why is he so snarky? Oh yeah, his he didn't have a car, he had a Jeep. Yeah, he just That's drove right. into town that day. Kirk Daniel Job. Taxico. Did uh the dude that like got in the truck, did he just like push the zombie out of the window and then run for it or something? I think he did. Maybe he high kicked him through it. Why not? That yeah, guy is a maniac, though. Why did he bite him? What a mess! <laughs> what could have done this? Did that give you a good impression of like the city you're just now moving to? Your <laughs> first night coming in, you find dead a dead body in the street. If there was one word to describe how dead he was, <laughs> what would that be? All right. Cadaverific. <laughs> Twitch, she's twitch. a twitching. Twitch, twitch. <laughs> what does he say? So that that guy. calmly he as, he's shoot, as he's still shooting. Wait, don't shoot. Uh, by the way, you should have to reload right now. We can't be out there's, there's zombies right there. Right there. They, they were literally ten steps well, away. Well, there they are. 20 steps away. The zombies forgot something. It's like they didn't make any progress, though, while he was talking to Claire and saving her life. And you know what? We don't need to see the rest of that. By, by the exact same yeah. thing. By the way, have you ever tried to break glass out of a car, like a car window before? It's actually a lot harder than... I don't think, you know, a zombie running at, you know, you know, maybe a tenth the normal strength of a human being could actually break through a window in a car... I think if they were to just sit there in that car, they would have been fine. I mean, they could obviously they couldn't sit there forever, but the, once they were in the car, I don't think there was like an immediate concern for danger. Yeah. Shut up. <laughs> I think the mic actually picked that one up. <laughs> Maybe that was nice. Okay, let me see if I can just kind of. Are you gonna try to? Oh wait, the thing is. In the B scenario, there is so many more enemies, and you, I mean, even once I got good at this game, I still felt like I had to really conserve, you know? No, I think this game save that we pulled from the internet, though, has, like, all the special weapons unlocked, so once you get to the chest, you might find some broken freaking weaponry in there. I think you might need to avoid it. Okay. I always felt to, like... It's like, no matter how many times I played through, I was just a little bit fearful of inadequacy in terms of how much Which is why you ammo you got. The, You're liking Code Veronica. I have no idea if the uh, the extra med pack or the side pack is going to be there for you at all or not. Yeah, it is. Well, how do if, you know? If you leave both items, then you get to pick up both of them on the... This is not your save. Oh. <laughs> That's what you meant. Oh, okay. <laughs> 
I like that. And if you go back and stupidly open the door, <laughs> here they come. Well, I hope so. That's all I can say. <laughs> You're so certain. Duh! I left it there. <laughs> I did not say it that way. I mean, sh shaw, dude. <laughs> Stop trolling. Now the cop submachine gun right here definitely sucks. And he didn't even notice. Why didn't he say, hey, watch out? Or anything. Come on, that would have killed them before they reached him. Oh my god. Whoops, accident. Helicopter pilots in Resident Evil, in case you don't know, <laughs> never survive. If you're a helicopter pilot, you die, eventually. Unless you're Joss Stone. <laughs> that's, the, that's the only survivor. Black people, so far, right? if you're black, if, if you you're die. Black, you're gone. If you're, if you're, if you're a helicopter cop, pilot, you're you gone. die. Joss Stone is invincible. Because <laughs> he is both. But wasn't he? Oh. He, he, was, he was. If you have both qualities, then you kind of... No, that means you should be extra dead. <laughs> like, that compounds the deadness. Maybe he's so well, dead there, he's there, alive again. There's some kind of reverse <laughs> psychology there. No, that's just how awesome Josh Stone is. He's so dead he's alive. <laughs> the laws of the universe. Couldn't handle it. He's been pecked to death. So yeah, it's like, as you can see on the B scenario, we totally come in from the back side of the building. Hit, hit. Right. And we don't even have to go through all this crap on the outside before reaching it. Uh -huh. you, you. Oh, got more herbs. Get some more of that herbage. Don't, oh, again, man. don't don't mix them unless you have to. Yeah. <clears throat> Ammo. Ammo. Thank you. What color is Jim's green gun? Green? green? No, the answer is blue. Uh, I don't get it. Who does? <laughs> there, no, that in uh, Earthworm Jim 2, there's a trivia qu quiz at the end of a level. Yeah. And they have uh, questions that don't make any sense and answers that don't, <laughs> like, apply. But, you know, there are there is a right answer and, you know, a wrong answer. And... You do, it's just a crapshoot. Like, one of the answers to one of the questions that didn't make sense was the Industrial Revolution. And so, whenever whenever Ix, I ask something he doesn't know the answer to, so more times than not, he'll just really? say, the Industrial Revolution. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Like, hey, did, do you know what happened to so-and-so? Uh, the Industrial Revolution. Alright. Yeah. I answered the question, I don't... I don't yeah. Know. What do you want from me? Too bad you're not the master of unlocking. Oh. Whoops. Whoop, whoop. I haven't... Two, two, three, six. Shotgun shells. Give me them shotgun shells. To that shotgun you can't have. Just start flicking the shells at the enemies. Maybe you'll flick it hard enough to where the gunpowder will go off. No, no, From the friction? <laughs> That's what you need to do. You need to like, hold the shell like this and get like an ice pick. and <laughs> Dust it and light them on fire. Crap. I don't think I can walk around him without... Whatever. It's a free kill. I don't, well, I don't have to go around him, period. I don't have to mess with him at all. Well, look. Like the one on the ground? Oh, the dead end. In your face! That's not his face. Not the that back was of his clearly head. the back of his head. In your face. You threw off my groove. Do you remember anything else from that movie? No. It's a Disney movie. Screw it. Oh, don't less. be like that. There are good Disney ah, movies. I like that. Well, I think I... Uh, what was that... Um, crap, I don't remember. Animated? 
Yeah, it was animated. Uh, real old? Mm, no. Last 10 years? <laughs> no. 20 years? Uh, The Rescuer Down Under, I think. Ah, yes. Oh, wow. Is that even Disney? Yeah. yeah. 23 years ago. That That's that's old. Okay, yeah. Uh, that's pretty darn old. Was Five Old Disney? Yep. I like Five Old. Five Old was good, too. But the sequel was stupid. Five Old goes, goes West. Goes West. I, could, I really could care less about that one. All right. Put out the helicopter, even though... Put, yeah, put out the helicopter. Yeah. Not the fire. <laughs> yeah, just so that the, the, the fire remains, but the helicopter's gone. <laughs> I mean, there are a few inconsistencies between, but it's, I mean, if you made it so that, like, Claire solved all the puzzles already, well, then the playthrough wouldn't have much substance on, you know, Leon's side, right? This is a video game. But in a lot of ways, they do keep track of, like, you know, this is real life. Oh my gosh! So awful. They and the said fact this that was supposed got... to be like a more, like a better form of tyrant for no. the last one, but in my opinion, this sucks. The fact that they have well, the thing is, there was only one tyrant. That helicopter was carrying like eight of those guys. This one was like mass produced or something. Yeah. Actually, no. Technically, there were two. I just so... saw the helicopter that had like eight cylinders. No, I meant of the of the older tyrant. Uh, the, the RE1 that was actually uh, 002. The one in RE0, the one that was all twitchy. Yeah. That Rebecca thought that was actually the very first, I think. Right. Oh, hi. Here go my bullets. Okay, Hurry, use your shotgun shells. It's good against living things. Huh. I like it how... Umbrella took the time to dress him. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh no, he kind of gained on me. You're, you're getting it. You're getting it. You're getting it. You're gonna get it. You got it. <laughs> Am I gonna have to knife it? <laughs> you better give me some freaking ammunition, buddy. <laughs> what I thought. 30? Wow. Well, it took almost 30 just to put him down. I'm surprised he the killed fact him. That, yeah. Are you going to try to kill him every time you meet him? Uh, generally you have to, don't you? I, no, I don't see what's stopping you from leaving here. Like, the only thing that happens if you leave without fighting him is that you don't get this little cutscene of him getting back up. Well... Slap my mama. I would, but she'd probably slap me back. Oh, God, I forgot. Two friggin' liquors in this room. Actually, I'm gonna get out. <laughs> come, yeah. back, come back with the shotgun. Right. In this game, you don't have to worry about uh, Mr. X coming against you through, through doors, multiple doors. Well, you never had the... You only had one disc, so you never had to deal with Mr. X, did you? Oh, wow, look. Oh, uh, yeah. They give you everything. Oh, my gosh. So we got what? Infinite machine gun, rocket launcher, and what? Uh, Gatling gun. <laughs> wow. I'm gonna go ahead and save. Just to get myself a firm. Uh, yep. Yeah. There it goes. No lockpick. But he's got the lighter right off the bat, so that's cool, I guess. Hmm. He's got <laughs> Zelda keys. Link versus zombies. <laughs> Infinite rocket launcher. You know, just to see what it does. Have just, you not seen it before? No, I, I don't. I really don't think I've had. It's I, just a huge stream of bullets. Aren't, oh, wait, you're actually going to kill someone with it? I thought you were just going to fire it up in the room. Now I'm going to see how quickly you can kill a liquor. Done. Oh, you can actually turn around with it. 
Yeah. <laughs> and it's spinning down. You dead? Yeah, he's dead. <laughs> That's our. Oh, there you go. There's the Gatling gun. I'll go ahead and grab what's in here. I think this is where we get the card to the hall. Unlock the door from the hall. Uh, and a liquor comes through the roof. Hooey! You fighting or running? Fighting. Okay, so far. Hey, oh. where do you think you're going? Well, Ceiling. <laughs> one more. Yeah, I remember. Actually, I did. I did know. I remember one mistake I made when fighting the super lickers with Claire. Yeah. Like the grenade rounds will actually knock them back so that they can't just keep coming forward and swipe you before you can pull off the next shot. So if I'd use that instead, I would have saved myself a lot of damage. Oh well. Water under the bridge. <laughs> Live and learn. Hanging on the edge of tomorrow. I wonder how you unlock those guns, just normally. You have to beat the game within a certain amount of time, I think. Ah. I think it's like under three hours. And without using, like, without, an F8 spray yeah, or you something. Have, you, it's, it's like, you have to beat it under three hours, and you can't... Or you have to have a certain rank, like S, like A right. rank or S rank. Oh, freaking, mm. freaking! I don't know. I'll well, say, like, once you unlock the rocket launcher, why would you even bother with bullets anymore? I mean, it's explosive AOE damage. Shotgun. Although that's the one that's probably hardest to unlock. Yeah, probably. You know, I was thinking when y'all started spontaneously making up stuff about, you know, the new plot of Resident Evil, the Resident Luncheon, whatever. Resident I was thinking luncheon. the way it started off, a bizarre series of cat vanishings have recently occurred in Raccoon City. The local Chinese restaurant <laughs> seems to be doing very well for itself recently. <laughs> Oh, uh, y'all going to hell. <laughs> <laughs> you Rumor going to jail now. <laughs> Rumors of the nearby veterinary clinic have high uh, numbers of uh, euthanasia in the <laughs> past several months. <laughs> <laughs> Is there a connection? You're a member of the chef's team. Oh, you can't blow up heads in this game. I don't remember. Or I didn't remember. Yeah, you can. Yeah, it's the Resident Evil one where you couldn't, unless you're playing Deadly Silence, where headshot they actually program program in the chance for headshots. No, you do it in a range mode. In a range mode? In fact, it kind of helps you considering ammo so scarce. Yeah. There's so many zombies. I didn't know they had headshots. I knew like there was like a whole grouping of them over here. Dang it! Oh, See, we... the shotgun in this game is actually useful. Yeah. Oh man, that, I can, that, I can that cut shot in half too. That shot when you freaking, it was the bow gun where you got like three of them at once. That was very nice. That was, that was beautiful, man. Thank beautiful. you. <laughs> Seriously, that, that was almost as awesome as the machining, machine gun downing two liquors at the same time. Machine gun downing. Yeah, that's a thing. It was more panic fire than anything else in that case, I have to admit. And I see the cord, I mean the... Right... So it's just like 10 more extra zombies for Leon to waste ammo on. Because they definitely have to go through those halls at some point. Uh. Thank you. Actually, I could have gone right down to the statue and used the unicorn metal. Yeah. That's why you suck. The this is why you suck. Cat vanishings have recently occurred. The chef's team, the culinary. <laughs> And hospitality and Hell's experts, team. Hell, experts, Hell's. and foodstuffs. Chris Sheffield. <laughs> Chris Sheffield. 
Jill Vegan Tom. <laughs> <laughs> vegan Tom, yeah. And the other stars members try to warn us away from Chinese food places, but no one, be- no one would listen. Uh... My God. <laughs> Uh, my stomach hurts. <laughs> oh my god, he's turned to a deranged foodie. <laughs> oh no, he's he's blocking on the internet about. Whap. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I forgot. He didn't kick the heads off. He stomps them. Seriously, you're not gonna react to that? Okay. Well, let me just walk out in front of you. It's like I don't feel comfortable unless I see him on screen. Yeah. Whoa! Alright, whatever. Ass. That was nowhere near his head. He stumped his butt. (laughs) He stumped his butt with such force. Like in that Mortal Kombat (laughs) Deception Fatality. (laughs) He stumped his butt so hard, all his guts went to his head and exploded. Like, all the pressure went to his head. Yep. Ah! Actually, I can go ahead and get rid of that small key right here. By opening this baby up. The chef's members. It's... Oh god, the gay zombie. There have been some strange reportings from kennel companies that animals have shown up missing. <laughs> <laughs> the, actually, but uh, PetSmart owns a raccoon <laughs> The PetSmart Company. Incorporated. Hmm. It's, it's like, you know, you break into the uh, pet PetSmart, and you're, like, rummaging through <laughs> all the, you know, toys and stuff ever, and you open up, like, one of the back doors, and you're like, what's, what's this? Marinade? <laughs> <laughs> Barbecue sauce? <laughs> what is this? Cooking utensils! <laughs> What's going on here? (laughs) You want chefs? I'll give you chefs. (laughs) 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 It's so stupid. It's sheer perfection, like precious G sauce. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> no one will take my G-Sauce from me. No one. Doctor, we've come to collect the G-Sauce sample. <laughs> no, you can't. Back away, you can't have it. This makes any... You can put this on anything, it tastes delicious. Stop it, you might eat the kidneys. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. No, shoot, shoot the doctor. No, you might hit the sample. <laughs> no, I had the sample of sauce. <laughs> No, I have to inject the sauce into my body. <laughs> no, ah! <laughs> he transforms into just like this ooze monster. This, this sauce. Just, just, <laughs> hey, 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 he just keeps transforming. Yeah, you see, Hunk is walking around the corner. I was like, hey, "Y'all smell that? <laughs> that smells delicious." <laughs> <laughs> And be useless because it's a sauce. He's insubstantial. Something <laughs> smells great. Let's check it out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm starving. <laughs> Chefs. Chefs. Culinary arts. <laughs> Culinary and hospitality experts in foodstuffs. Chefs. Chefs. I love that. <laughs> Okay, so, uh, more twists on the names of, like, the members of the Hell's Kitchen team. Okay. <laughs> there's, there's Chris Sheffield. <laughs> yeah, there's Jill. Vegan, vegan time. Vegan uh, time. Barry Burton. Well, what's... Barry Bourbon? Like, bur- yeah, steak? Yeah, like bourbon oh, okay. sauce. Barry yeah. Bourbon steak. <laughs> or sauce, even. Yeah. Or bourbon sauce. Uh, what about... Filet Spire. <laughs> uh, I, nah, that's kind of lame. Mm. How about hmm, Rebecca Chard? Uh, uh, Rebecca Cajun? 
pages. Well, it's a style of food, so. Yeah. I'll keep that with me. Uh, really, no more need for anything in here. I'm maybe thinking. Albert Skewer. You no, know, it might be fun to do a Albert punk White. run with a uh, with Albert. maybe the Gatling gun or rocket launcher or something like that, just for Albert Skewer. Skewer. Albert Skewer. Skewer. I knew it was you. Crisp. 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 Sheffield. Crisp. 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 That's stupid. Claire, my stomach feels satisfied. <laughs> oh God, the G sauce. <laughs> I need the. G I need the G. It's about to repeat on her. <laughs> I need the G sauce. The, the G sauce hot compliment sauce. That's the only way. <coughs> the G sauce had to had to find. We, we've got to get that out of her before she becomes, you know, she never eats again. <laughs> before she goes bulimic. Before she goes bulimic. <laughs> you have to help her. You're her mother. We we need to get that. The, uh, Epicac vaccine. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Actually, wouldn't that make you more bulimic? Well, I was just saying, if she had the sauce in her and you needed to get it out, yeah. uh, Epicac would probably do the job. Yeah. The Epicac scene. <sighs> once you do this puzzle once, there's really no forgetting it. Yep. Chief Irons. He's pretty much the same. Maybe he should be uh, Chef Grill Iron. <laughs> Chef Irons. Chef Irons, yeah. Chef Iron Skillet. <laughs> yep, you done messed up. I done messed up. You have up. done messed up. <laughs> Do it again. <laughs> Do it all over again. Mm -mm. What was that about the one, you do it the one time? You never forget. Well, he didn't forget. Yeah, he just, I just did it wrong. Just... Oh, well, at least, was, at least the other one said it. Oh, oh wow. Yeah. I kept that there. That's convenient. <laughs> nice. Now you're not doing enough. <laughs> Watch it not be enough. You won't. Push it over one Yeah, more. no, let's see if it's enough. Uh, well, it's I, I really can't... not. I'm having trouble cutting the corner. Uh, oh, 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 wow. Totally enough. What you talking about? Mm. Yeah. I want to remember when I played Resident Evil 1 in the box and stair puzzle. <laughs> it was like, up, oh, up. Oh. oh my gosh, I keep catching corners. That's a problem that will never get old with me. Never. <laughs> the, the boulder. <laughs> like, you were even pretty good not to get caught on edges, but the boulder, when it, when it counted. Yep. See if I can catch them both. That yeah, wasn't enough. Get down, get down. Oh, you caught him. Oh, let him get a foot nage. That'll that'll conserve ammo. <laughs> I'll do it while that other guy's down and one. Hop goes the weasel. <laughs> Mmm, pants. Pants only weigh me down. <laughs> if you want a material that zombie teeth could not get through, Kevlar? Actually, I figured they would not easily get through jeans. Yeah, I think... Through denim, you know? Is there... Alright, ammo again. Just on the floor. I never noticed that before. Well, obscured by the desk. Oh Magnum. yeah, give me some of that. 
Can't wait to have them freaking zombies staring down the barrel of a 45. <laughs> so is that the AI director of like, or like a little magic gnome that steals the corpses while you're out of the room? <laughs> it's the zombie gnomes. Uh, Sherry ran right into me. Hey. Why does Leon shrug like it's that? Like... Yeah. Okay, you were so much closer behind her a second ago. <laughs> Just saying, if you put a bullet through her kneecap, she's not going anywhere. You're a terrible person, wow. you know that? I can't even well, she, she spends, I'm sorry, she spends half the game running away from everyone. So I need to put a leash on her. doesn't change the fact that you're a terrible person. She is a little girl. But that will change the fact that she runs away from everyone. It also might change the fact that she's alive. I'm sorry, a kneecap is not a vital organ. Blood is, but... Have you seen any girl? Oh, no. Well, it's not she, an organ. What if she were a hemophiliac? <laughs> Maybe had MS. Did you hear that, Evan? We were complimented. Leon, I'll go look for her. You go and find us a way out of here. Of course. But before I forget, here's a radio. That you're going to hang up on me later. He does say he does like give express frustration with it. Like the second time she just cuts him off suddenly, he's like, "Why does anybody ever listen to me around here?" Okay, so anyway, this is a good spot to. All right. Stop for the first episode. So, yeah, stick around, guys. Peace.